I think I try to dress Western yeah. and I have a cowboy hat mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to fake it. No. Nope. And then real cowboys show up and they look like how I dress every <laughs> weekend. They're not dressed like this at all. Ball caps and <laughs> Ball caps hoodies. And sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Rory Jarvis and Keegan Thomas uh, joining us now, uh, both who are outriders here at the Calgary Stampede. Uh, Keegan, you first. Introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. Uh, my name is Keegan Thomas. Uh, I grew up in West Texas. I st live in Stephenville, Texas now, still. Um, my wife's from Okotoks, and that's how I got introduced to the to the wagon racing. I came up four years ago and saw my first race, and uh, that's how that's how I got up here. So. Saw your first race, saw her, and uh, then the rest <laughs> is history. Yeah, we we actually met at college down in Texas. Oh, cool! And so we college rodeoed together, and then uh, yeah, the rest is just history after that. So. Ben Miller racing on your hat. Who yeah. are you racing? Now, but you can be you can be a, uh, an outrider for a lot of people, right? Sorry. Hang on, we're, it's very loud here. We just brought a couple of wagons in, and uh, and Keegan can't hear us, so we're putting some headphones on him so he can actually hear now. Are, are you specifically with one driver, or will you race for a number of drivers? Uh, I have four heats here this week. Uh, race for Kurt Ben Miller, Chance Ben Miller, Jordy Fike, and Aubrey Montewillo. Tell us about Aubrey. Have you heard the latest on him and give us an update on how he's doing? Uh, he broke his clavicle, his shoulder blade, um, tore his rotator cuff, uh, a little damage to his ankle, Man. but uh, he's just a, he's a tough bugger. So he's walking around, no cast, no nothing, no... Yeah, he's just roaming around, just still doing everyday chores. And, and how does that make the other riders and, and the, the drivers, how does that make everybody feel? Does that make you tense or is it just kind of part of the game? No, it's, uh, it's, it's what we deal with every day. Uh, any given moment, we can get in a bad wreck. Um, a lot of people don't understand that because we make it look so easy a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I it comes with the territory, and that's why, you know, they always say quiet on the set, right? Because that's when our life's on the line the most because we're holding them horses, and them horses are amped, and they're ready to jump. And, yeah. uh, wagons go backwards, and the horses jump forward. And like Rory, he holds lead horses, and... He could be jumped on any given moment, right? And so uh, that's when uh, our lives are on the line and then the infield more. And then when you're on the track, you got to watch for wh where wagons are going and right. wrecks and anything can happen. You, pen you mentioned uh, Rory. Pass the mic to Rory for a second. Uh, and Rory, we'll get you to uh, introduce yourself. Uh, where is home uh, for you? And, and when, he, when, when Keegan says lead horse, uh, tell us about that. Uh, I'm from Irvin, Saskatchewan. Just the lead horse is the two front horses on the jog wagon. Them are the ones you just hold and steady before the horn goes. You kind of get the circle eight going, the figure eight going, in a manner of speaking, uh, holding the, the reins, and, and, and it's a crucial, uh, crucial, crucial role, clearly. No, you don't. You just basically just, when the drivers, they pull in as best they can, then you kind of grab them and straighten them out and make sure the tugs are tight so everything, that way their lines are all adjusted properly, and then when the horn goes, they can just, they're pointed in the direction they have to go. You just let go and look out. Yeah, you just kind of give them a little finger start and then just run to the top is and try to get it, not get it run over. Is it scary for you guys or is it just more of an adrenaline rush? It's just a job. <laughs> 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 okay, so some warm-ups happen. You two have not warmed up this today, but we've seen some of the outriders go by, and, and that is full out, full out. They're flying by uh, right there's now. There's no low gear here. I mean, that's got to be quite a rush. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, yeah, the... One in wagon, there's no low gear because once that you can't go in with half open. But like on out riding horse, we do. We can go half gear and stuff like that. But Rory, are you in half gear right now? Or are you in full <laughs> gear? I am in like quarter <laughs> gear. Oh, quarter <laughs> gear. <laughs> uh, good to meet you both today. Uh, safe riding the rest of yes. the way, you guys, and uh, good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Good to have them here. A uh, couple of riders, uh, Rory Jarvis and Keegan Thomas, uh, and uh, yeah, they've got their hands full over the next uh, few nights, don't they? It's 7:22.